Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about Amazon and how could it become one of the fitness behemoths in the world by buying one company that it's called Peloton. So let's get into it. In the past, Amazon has shown interest in the wellness industry by, you know, doing a few things. One is most notably, they bought the Whole Foods chain for $13 billion in 2017. Number two, about three to four years ago in 2018, they formed a joint venture with JP Morgan Chase and Berkshire Hathaway, the company from Warren Buffett, and it was called Haven Healthcare. And this company focused on improving healthcare services and reducing the cost of their employees. They wanted to give easier access and streamline processes around primary care and insurance benefits. However, this didn't pan out as they expected and they ended up scratching the joint venture in the beginning of 2021. Number three, they are now trying to gain traction in the wearable space by launching a wristband very similar to Fitbit actually. This product is called Halo and it's currently in its second iteration. The first one, Halo Band, came in 2020 and the second one called Halo View came out in December last year. This wristband tracks your typical stats like your heart rate, your sleep, and your steps, but it also provides other features, some creepier than others, such as analyzing your body fat composition by taking a picture and then using algorithms to determine how fat you really are, levels of fatigue based on how your voice sounds, a bunch of integrated services that allow you to select certain recipes or workouts depending on the lifestyle you live. So with that said, we can imply that there is a lot of interest from Amazon into entering the wellness space, which opens the question, why do they want to buy Peloton? But let's take a step back. Who is Peloton? Well, Peloton, if you haven't heard from them, they are a fitness company that became insanely popular during the pandemic, especially when everybody was locked up and couldn't get a workout in because all the gyms were closed. They sell high-end fitness equipment such as bikes and treadmills, but they also have on-demand video services through a subscription. They had almost 6 million members as of June of last year and they generated four billion dollars in revenue so why the interest in buying them why now and not before right now peloton is a bargain its stock dropped from 120 dollars as of july last year to 25 dollars as of last week when you think about it that means that 80 percent of their market capitalization was depleted just in the last 12 months why well as of the mid-2021, Peloton is struggling with its operations to deliver products on time, they're charging setup fees, delivery fees, and on top they're canceling orders at the very last minute. All of this is hurting their customer success ratings and is just very bad news. Because of this, they have invested heavily in their supply chain footprint to address these types of issues. However, this has created a very bloated cost structure. On the other hand, as life returns back to normal from the pandemic and gyms start to reopen, members are actually considered or new customers might actually consider not buying high end and premium bikes and rather they just pay their local gym fee to have their spinning class or their workout. In. And as if this wasn't enough and to make things worse, executives of the company sold $500 million worth of stock prior to the stock dipping, meaning that they knew something was happening before the bad news went to the market. Were these legitimate pre-scheduled sales like they claim to be or not? Well, who knows? Because of all these factors, it seems like activist investors now are pushing very hard to make a sale and they're claiming that Peloton might actually find a better home inside of a conglomerate. Enter Amazon. Firstly, Amazon, if they acquire this company, would immediately acquire an immense amount of data from Peloton's members. This is massive because Amazon is a beast when it comes to analyzing data through their algorithms to produce an outcome. In other words, adding this much data to, you know, on people's wellness, coupled with their existing products, like Halo and services like artificial intelligence and machine learning from their AWS arm could yield a very, very monetizable revenue stream and could also open the doors to other business ventures that could be very profitable. Secondly, Amazon is known for being world-class in two things, their customer obsession and their distribution centers and logistics clockwork. Remember the two-day shipping benefit you get with Amazon Prime? So this would likely solve the delivery issues and delays and customer satisfaction issues that Peloton is running into right now. And finally, Amazon Prime members 
could be offered the Peloton subscription for free as part of their membership fee. And this could be actually deployed using Amazon Prime Video, which is a huge platform that already competes with Netflix and it's world class in terms of the user interface. So if you think about it, the ecosystem of Amazon is ripe to deploy products like the ones Peloton has. And the synergies that it could create could actually be massive. So how likely is it that they will buy it? None of the parties have confirmed or declined the claims. However, more likely than not, when a rumor this big leaks out, something along the lines ends up happening anyways. Does it mean that if Amazon doesn't buy the company, Peloton is over? Unlikely. There are other players in the space trying to take a bid such as Nike, because it might actually fit their portfolio. Or another likely scenario is that Peloton decides to turn itself around by changing management practices, culture, focusing on painful cost-cutting moves and organization restructures, and also modifying their business model to better suit the needs of a post-pandemic world. We will see soon enough as the earnings call is actually tomorrow. So if you like that video and that analysis, hit that like button, subscribe, and see you next time.